Hey everyone, on this episode of American Travel Family, we are spending 72 hours in Paris. So stay tuned and we're going to show you the highlights of this awesome city. Yeah, let's do it. It's a beautiful day in Paris and today we're going to get out and explore the famous street Champs-Élysées. And then we're going to make our way over to the Eiffel Tower and spend the evening watching the sunset under this iconic landmark. So let's get started and hit the streets of Paris. Okay guys, hey, so it's day number two in Paris, maybe, because yesterday we actually came in on, from London to Paris. So is it really day one? I am not sure. Um, anyway, so last night was so fun. We, had, we didn't get to bed until I think 2.30, right? Yeah. Everybody was out last night. It Everyone. Was, but steel day and it's the biggest uh, so French sorry. holiday national holiday but anyway check out this view right yeah, in front of us we're we can get a sneak peek at the eiffel tower here yeah. too all right okay. we gotta figure out how to cross this street i need now. coffee all right let's go yeah. this way <laughs> luckily in paris there's a cafe around every corner so it wasn't hard to find a great spot for a cafe au lait That's good coffee. <laughs> We are on the famous Chans Elysees main drag where all the high end shops are in Paris and it is buzzing. We're right down from the Arc de Triomphe and we're walking around checking out a lot of the uh, high end retail shops and window shopping. And the Chans Elysees is described as the world's most beautiful avenue and is a must see while in Paris. It is just as iconic and a symbol of Paris as is the Eiffel Tower. The avenue is lined with restaurants, luxury boutiques, flagship stores such as Louis Vuitton, and many restaurants, cafes, and nightclubs. It is a great avenue to walk, sightsee, window shop, and is the setting each year for major events such as Bastille Day, which was yesterday, the arrival of the Tour de France, and Christmas lights and celebrations. The avenue runs about two kilometers between the Concorde Palace and the Arc de Triomphe. The street is always busy and buzzing and is a great place to walk day or night. You may even see the famous photos of the sun setting right in the center of the Arc de Triomphe, which happens twice a year. And even more special recently, on the first Sunday of each month, cars are now banned from the Champs-Élysées, so pedestrians can walk down the center of the avenue itself. Here we are at the flagship store of Louis Vuitton. They've got a great window display. Of note, it's summertime and a lot of the stores have huge lines outside. There's a line. There's a line for everything now. Wow. So, oh my gosh, we are not. Dude, I remember. You used to just be able to like. Okay. So we're gonna go to this one. Sorry, Louis, you're so not. So did we have to wait in line the last time we came here 10 years ago? We had to wait for a couple seconds. So here's the thing, you, if you want to go to the flagship store of Louis, go there, it, it's okay. All right, needless to say, we did not go inside of Louis Vuitton because that line was way too long, but we continued down Chans Elysees and came by one of our favorite macaroon places. Yeah, I know. So we should come back here. Oh, this is a lot of rain. Yeah, we'll come in here. Here, we should come back here. This is this looks really nice. That looks really cool. That looks this really cool. is where you get the famous macarons. It's not too bad. So you could do Echo. So that's the store Kenzie wants to go into, or it's actually a cafe. Yeah. We can do that. You can do it for the sit down. Or you can just go through the line and pick up everything and eat it on the street. Wow. Uh, one of our favorite shows on Netflix. Stranger Net Things. And what do we just see? A Stranger Things store. Oh my. We're going to have to go check that out. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of everything for every shopper on the Shans Alizee. There was even a lot of street performers and entertainment. And being that it is summer, you can see there's quite a crowd. So we only spent a couple hours on the street. The kids have had enough, so it was time to get something cool to eat and then move on toward the Eiffel Tower. Right, a hot 
away with the sun, get some ice cream. Is that Starbucks? That's just not for yet. After cooling off with that snack, we were refreshed and ready to head over to the metro. And a few stops later, we were near the Eiffel Tower. Welcome to the Eiffel Tower. There are several metro stops which will get you near the Eiffel Tower. And then it may take just a couple blocks of walking. As you can see, during the summer, the streets are quite busy around the Eiffel Tower and so are most of the cafes. But after just a short walk, there it was, the Eiffel Tower. And if this view looks familiar, this is one of the most Instagrammable spots to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Now that's big. There are tickets for purchase to take a lift to the top of the Eiffel Tower or to walk the stairs to the second floor. However, we just walked around it from the bottom and then headed over to the big grassy area called the Champ de Mars. Right now we're at the Eiffel Tower and I am so excited. So last night was Bastille Day and there was literally like a million people down here last night and we were not able to get anywhere close to this place. We actually sat on a side street watching the fireworks, but tonight a lot of the crowd is gone and we're able to enjoy this awesome evening, right? So Kenzie's been wanting to come here for a long time and we finally made it. And, and I got French macaroons. French macaroons in front of the Eiffel Tower. So is it all it was cracked up to be? Yeah. So far? So far. It's pretty, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. And you can't eat your French macaroon. <gasps> you should eat your first French macaroon in front of the Eiffel Tower. The plan. Okay. Let's go find a spot on the grass over there. I thought you were going to try it. No. All right. So I must admit, pretty awesome evening just hanging out on the grass in front of the Eiffel Tower. It is. People are just, you know, hanging on the grass, like you said, chat, chilling, drinking wine, having cheese, you know. That's and a late yeah, summer back day. <laughs> The sun's about to set, so everybody kind of gets their spot and watches the sunset. And check this out, though. The sun doesn't set till like 10 o'clock at night in the summer. I know, right? So I don't know if we're going to last that long, but... So, there is... The only one thing about this place is there's a lot of hustlers, and they're all selling the same thing. Yeah, good point. Yeah, there's a lot of folks, like, selling stuff. Working the car. Um, so they pretty much leave you alone if you just say no thank you, mm -hmm. but just beware. Kenzie, how are those macaroons? Did you try one yet? Not yet. I got to do it sitting down in front of the top. Well, right here. Go find it. Look, there's a spot right there in the middle. Go sit in some Right here. This looks good. We kind of need a... <laughs> we need a blanket. But we didn't bring one. So the grass is kind of spotty. Oh yeah, I love it. How are they, Kenzie? They're super good. They're good. Well, the chocolate. Try the chocolate. But Parker, do you want to try the chocolate? Yeah, I do. Wow. Look at this macaroon. It is so big. It has raspberries in it and then some type of filling. So cute. So, I'll eat it with the Eiffel Tower. So good. Is it? What kind? Oh, There's lemon. It's stuck. It's stuck to the bottom. Okay. Uh, right. That's good. Mm, that is really good. It's refreshing. Yeah. This one. It was a beautiful evening and a great way to end the day. We definitely recommend sitting on the grass at the Champ de Mars. It's a free and economical way to take in the beauty of Paris, the Eiffel Tower, and people watch. And don't forget to take your Eiffel Tower selfies. Although the days in the summer can get quite warm in Paris, the evenings cool down quite nicely and make it an ideal time to enjoy a nice meal outside. That's a wrap on this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the other videos in our Summer in Paris series. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures.